Hello and welcome to another video of Python Outlook Automation. So this topic about email automation using Python we have already covered. Now today we are going to cover these two topics like when you are using email automation using Python then how do you add the attachment or while using Python email automation how to put the background image. So you might have seen many advertisements like where you will have a background image and on top of that you will have some content. So how do you add image in the email body when you are doing email automation using Python. In the next video I will cover these email automation topics how to read email using Python, how to short outlook emails using Python, how to filter out the emails and then how to save the email, how to save the attachment from the email. So this is the next video which will come up. Let's come back to today's agenda and if you like the subject of this video please hit the like button that will really help me and and for more videos please subscribe to the channel and share your feedback in the comments if you have any question at any point comment with the timeline all right so i will go back to the pycharm code editor pycharm python code editor and this is the code from the previous video if you are not following you can see it right now here But in this topic, we are going to cover add attachment. So what I have done, here I have the data which we have used in the last video also. Okay, what I will do, I will create some attachment from this. So sometimes you will have order number, sometimes you will have some other number here and file will be saved with that number. So in that case, how do we do and how do we add single attachment? We will see both. Let me show you the uh, data. First of all, where are the files saved? So I have sample files here. All right, what we will do, we will copy this path from here. And first we will create one variable. File path. And for this information, you can use this R. And if you notice the file name is as the mobile number in the data. So if you are following from the previous video, we are reading this CSV file here. And this mobile number is coming into this variable. So we will utilize this variable to create the dynamic file path. I have to remove this R. Let me minimize this part. And then we have to add the file extension dot pdf. So name will be coming from here. File initial name and the extension we have to add. Okay, let's say if you want to add only one same file in all the emails. So what you can do is you can hard code this value. Don't use variable. Give the complete path of the file. So this is how you can add a single file as an attachment to all the emails. After that, you just have to do mail item. So this is our email item mail dot attachments dot add and then you can give the file path. If you want to add multiple attachments in the same email, either you can run a loop on each file and if it is very less number one or two, then you can add one more line here. And then you can give a path. But if you see there are eight to ten or something, then you have to give loop. I have changed the color to white, so I have will change that. In the HTML template, I have changed the color to white. So I am just changing this color to black. I will save and then I will close. For this, you for to understand this, like how to use the template and all, you have to go through the previous video, which the link is available in the description. And here we are reading the 
template. So we are reading the template from the file. Now I will run this. Okay. So you have that text also now. So if you see for Jack Brown, what is the number? Double five four five and same is the file attached. Okay, so I hope you got like how to add attachment in the email. Now next is like how to add a image object in the email body, Outlook email body. So when you are doing the automation with Python, how will you add image in the email body? So my image is here, sample image I will show you. The image is black, so that is the reason I have taken the font color as white okay so this is the sample image which i have taken and my image name is test.png so first of all what i have to do you can have this already added and next to this you can add image path so whenever you are sending an image to add in the body you have to add the same image as attachment also otherwise image is saved on your system and email is being read on the customer system or email is being read on the user system so that image will not be found until it is not attached in the email so we have to attach that image so my image file name is i will just change the path test.png all right I have to add one more that is image path. Second thing, this template I have changed. So if, if you want to do further changes, it based on, that is your HTML skills. You can do any changes here. Okay. And I have explained in detail in the previous video so you can have a look on the previous video to understand this html template and how the variable data will come here and here and here this is basically the string format in python a string formatting in python now we have to change this color to white because the background image which i am using is black save can just close this if you want to minimize this go here and run so we have a error in line number 30 image path yeah sample files this path is not there i have to correct the path Execution is done. Let's check these emails now. So you have this data which is coming. You can see see here about the data. Raj Singh, double eight nine eight, Jack Brown, Sunday Singh. So if you will go to email one by one. You can check the attachment file. You can check this. Data also is correct. All right. So this send is just sending the email. Never miss this last one. And this is how you can automate your email sending. You can have a look again on this entire script from a start. Till here, we are just reading the data and we are creating the email and here we are looping through the csv file and then reading the data and these are the required libraries i am not using this so let me delete now we will see in the next video how to create exe out of the python script all right and from here after template you can see how to add attachments here is the attachment all right Hope this video was useful for you.
hit a like button if you have not yet done that subscribe to the channel for more and more automation videos we are going in depth in each of the video and we are covering here python automation and ui bath rpa automation as well thank you for your time